Hello Libra and welcome to your reading for the month of April. Libra, you can watch this video if you're a Libra moon rising and Venus or if you're dealing with one. Please know that these are general messages and they may or may not resonate with you. If they don't, then please do check your other placements, right? Okay, let's see. This is for Libra for the month of April. What's going on with Libra? Cross watchers, please remember that the energies can be interchangeable or vice versa. So take whatever resonates. This is for Libra for the month of April. Indecision. I use my intuition in all aspects of life. So Libra, I feel there's a lot of indecision, whatever you're trying to decide, maybe there's some sort of a decision that needs to be made in the month of April for you guys, right? So you're kind of going back and forth in decision making in some aspect of your life in the month of April, right? So you need to use your intuition, follow your heart, whatever indecision you're facing um, in whatever situation this month, you need to use your intuition. So just just follow your gut, whatever your inner voice is telling you, that is the right decision, right? So unsure of what you want or you know what where you need to go. And then we have courage. So I see a lot of um, purple coming up, right? So I feel that this is this has got to do with your crown chakra. So again, I would say that please pay attention to whatever intuitive downloads you're, you're, you'll be getting this month because I feel for a lot of you, uh, your crown chakra is opening up, right, Libra? You're, you're getting a lot of intuitive hits, some downloads, some some signs, synchronicities will be shown to you this month regarding some aspect of your life. It could be love, it could be uh, anything, career, some family matter, whatever you're facing or whatever you're seeking answers for, indecision. And courage. I find the inner strength to face fear with confidence. So there is some sort of a fear that you need to overcome, and you're gaining the courage. I see you. You're gaining your strength, courage. Um, your your willpower is getting strong in the month of April because I feel here that you need some. You need this courage to make some sort of a decision in your life, which you're going back and forth about, right, Libra? So let's jump into the tarot. What the tarot has to say. This is for Libra for the month of April 2022. Tell me what's going on with the Libra. What's going on with Libra in their love life for the month of April? First, I'll cover your love reading for the month of April and then I'll jump on to your career. Right, so let's see what's going on with my Libra in the month of April regarding their love life. Okay, so a lot of confidence you're getting again, right? You're, whatever you're facing, it's, um, you know, you're, you're, whatever aspect of your life, you're, you're, I think you're gaining victory. It could be related to your work, it could be your love life, but I see victory is yours, right? You're heading towards victory. There's some sort of an endeavor that you're uh, that you see coming to fruition, right? To completion. Maybe for a lot of you, you're working on a project that's coming to completion, right? Yeah. So there's a lot of um, 
research going on around uh, about something that you're trying to figure out right there has been some sort of a new beginning or there is going to be a new beginning right and i see here that you guys need to uh, I think you're you're breaking some cycle here, right? This stuck energy that you felt yourself trapped in, you're breaking yourself out of this stuck energy this month, Libra. That's what I feel for you guys. At the bottom of the deck, I have Nine of Swords. So a um, lot of tension. I feel you're you're anxious about something, right? And I feel this is a this has got to do with. Uh, this this indecision here right there's some sort of an indecision that you're facing regarding uh, some situation in your life probably a love situation right I feel um, there's a lot of uh, flirting going on around you and between you and this person could be a fire sign could be an air sign, Aquarius, Gemini, Libra, Aries, Saji, Leo. So there's a lot of flirting going on around, but um, and you've been you've been trying to flirt with this person for quite a long time, uh, Libra, right? So I feel that um, yeah, a lot of uh, getting to know each other. You both are like stalking each other on social media, keeping an eye on each other, totally into each other, right? And this person just can't stop flirting with you, and it's like. You know, it, but there is this this feeling. I feel um, this could be your energy, Libra. Again, you want to take a leap of faith in this connection with this person, but there is something that's kind of blocking you, keeping you trapped. Maybe it's your own thinking. You're probably overthinking things. A lot of things are going on in your mind. You're anxious about a lot of things, right? Probably there's some kind of a fear that you need to overcome. You need some sort of confidence to, you know, step up into this connection. Take a leap of faith here with this person. So there is some sort of an indecision. And you need to break yourself free from this trapped energy. For some of you, it could be a past person or a past relationship. Um, still, that past energy is lingering in your um, space and you're not able to release it, right? So you are kind of trapped. And that is what is kind of blocking you in taking this leap of faith towards this new new person you're you're getting to know. Because I see a lot of flirtatious energy, a lot of flirting going on around with this person and uh, they love your attention, you love their attention. Yeah. You just, you both love each other's company. You both can't stay away from each other. That's what I see here, Libra, for you. And definitely I see a new beginning happening here for you guys, but it's just that you you need to take a leap of faith here. And that's why this this indecision is going on, right? So, please tell me more about uh, this this person that Libra is dealing with. Tell me more about this person. Their intentions. What are the what are this, what are this person's intentions towards Libra? Please tell me about the intentions of this person towards Libra. Yeah, so this person, I feel this, they're like, they want to, you know, they want to come towards you. They want to invest themselves into you. That's what I see here. But there was, there is some sort of a sadness um, here regarding uh, your connection, right? Maybe, maybe you have... You you're you're not giving them what they want. That's what I feel here, Libra. Right? They're coming towards you with a lot of hope, and the and 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 the fact that you know they they actually really love your attention. They they want to win this situation. They want to win you over. But some sort of a past um, energy here is blocking your connection. That's what I see here. For a lot of you, I see recently you guys have uh, had a breakup and now this person is talking to you. They're kind of, you know, they're they're disappointed, they're, they're sad, they regret the loss of this connection and they're having difficulty moving on 
from you, Libra. Right? Please tell me what, what happened between the Libra and this person. You could be living with a water sign or a fire sign, Sagittarius, Leo, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Uh, please tell me what happened between Libra and this person. So we have Queen of Pentacles. So I feel um, you're not very sure of this person, right? And you just took your power back, right? You wanted to focus on yourself, Libra. And there is, yeah, again, you know, with the devil and the eight of swords, definitely it is, someone is, is, is stuck on something. This person, they are having difficulty moving on from you. They can't release you from their space. That's, that's what I see here. Like they, there was a beautiful beginning between the two of you, right? You both started off uh, with a lot of flirtatious texts and, you know, there was a lot of um, energy was high and there was the vibe between the two of you was really good. But, but then somewhere down the line, when it came to taking a leap of faith in this connection with this person, Libra, it's like you, you, you just doesn't want to. And this person is kind of stuck on you. They ha they are having difficulty releasing you. Although I feel that you have already, you have told them that you want a higher level of commitment right now. You probably don't want to focus on love, and you're you wanting to focus on your career, on yourself, maybe your self growth, right? And you have told them this. You've told your person that you know right now I just don't want to focus on myself, and probably I'm looking for something um, something solid. A longer you know a long-term commitment and now this person is kind of regretting but they can't release you from their energy space Libra they're they're stuck on you they're obsessed with you could be a Capricorn you could be dealing with a Capricorn okay um, please tell me uh, what are the uh, actions of this person that the Libra is dealing with, dealing with? Please tell me more about the next action that this person is going to take towards Libra. Wow, we have the King of Pentacles and we have the Queen of Pentacles together, coming out together in this in the same reading. So to me, this is a soulmate connection, Libra. So if you're dealing, if this reading is resonating with you, then I feel that you know this is a, this is your soulmate. And now they're getting serious about you. I'm telling you, they're coming towards you with an offer because they know that they probably couldn't give you a commitment before but now they're realizing once you've turned your back on them they're they're realizing that they can't let you go and they're they're completely obsessed with you their focus is on you libra they can't get you out of their minds right so so they're they're stepping up their game they're coming towards you with a long-term commitment they're coming towards you with a with an offer a commitment a solid commitment libra get ready for that in the month of april itself Probably for some of you, your person is right now also focusing on their finances while you focus on your finances, right? And they're kind of stepping up their game and um, uh, they just, they're very much focused on their work right now because they want to come towards you with like a whole package, right? So they're kind of leveling up their game so that they can be a perfect match. But it's already a perfect match, Libra. They're, they're your soulmate. And I think uh, for a lot of you guys, Libra... Um, something is manifesting this this beautiful connection is manifesting in reality right in the physical reality but i feel you're 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 kind of uh, you're having some sort of negative negative thought patterns some self limiting beliefs that you can't do it right or maybe this person is not good enough for you so you're kind of indecisive so please you need to stand and you know face your fear with confidence because I see that this person is they're, they're ready to offer you a commitment okay what's the outcome of this connection please tell me more about uh, what's going to happen next in this connection this person is dealing with the person dealing with Libra oh sorry <laughs> Libra that's dealing with this person what's happening next yeah so I feel, again, a lot of pentacles I see here. So I feel that this person, you, 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 could have, you could have met this person at work or you work with this person. It could be, this could be your colleague 
or someone you go to school with right and they are they're actually um, i think they're they're planning to come forward with just not a commitment but they want to give something to you right they want to be generous to you with their time effort and money and they want to balance out this connection in some way and this, the, i think you could be having money ties with this person right you could be working together on some project or i don't know something of that sort but this person is working on themselves on their finances on their self growth they're working on themselves deepra and they're going to come towards you and offer you um, a commitment as well as they want to you know they want to be of service to you they want to help you in some way right this could be anything this could be their love affection anything but it's going to it's going to balance out the whole equation between the two of you this this connection this relationship is going to be balanced yeah so i feel that uh, they you guys had a tower moment right there was there was a breakup that you guys went through recently and a lot of things came out in the light right so it was it kind of shook the foundation of this connection which was i guess based uh, on not on not a solid foundation right so it was kind of a lightning moment for you you both you and the person you're dealing with so i feel that that kind of made your person um realize that they need to step up their game and they need to come towards you with a commitment right okay so what's the advice for libra here regarding this person this connection what's the advice for libra yeah advice for you libra is to heal your heart right to heal your heart chakra and advice for you for you is to just rest and relax just let things be okay because things are evolving and unfolding in their own natural way so you need to let them be right the advice for you is to just relax just 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 keep manifesting right don't lose hope because this person is coming towards you and i see that this person is manifesting you as well they are very much focused on you very much focused on you and obsessed with you and this person is not letting you go they are planning to come forward to you towards you with a, with a solid commitment and uh, something they are planning to give to you i see them being generous to you right they have had their own epiphany revelations some tower moments they had to go through and they 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 just miss you so much they can't let you go like that libra they are very much focused on you and advice for you is to you know heal your heart and just take some time out to breathe right and probably for a lot of you i feel if you are having dreams libra that's what i see here for some of you you could be dreaming astrally or having some dreams wherein there are some messages for you the divine is sending you some messages universe is helping you out so you need to pay attention to those dreams whatever is being shown to you and the advice for you is to keep manifesting because i see your dreams are coming true your wishes are being fulfilled here you could be dealing with an aquarius right so your so your wishes are being fulfilled i feel for a lot of you you could have met this person in the month of february and it just the connection just started off with a lot of flirting getting to know each other there was a new beginning in your connection but somebody was just a lot of self limiting beliefs i see here but a lot of obsession also going on between you and this person they are having difficulty releasing you they are totally obsessed with you and they are coming towards you with with a solid commitment libra you need to just stay positive and you know believe in the best keep manifesting right don't don't get stuck in the state of indecision okay um please show me the outcome for this connection what's the potential of this connection please show me the potential of this connection yeah see you i feel this is your energy libra you guarded you guarded right you guarded and it's it's a beautiful connection right 
it has the potential to go somewhere deep rock trust me if it has the potential to go somewhere because we have the king and queen of pentacles coming out together and then we have the two of cups right so it's it's a soulmate connection it's a beautiful spiritual connection and romantic union right you both have romantic feelings for each other it's just about letting your guard down and trusting this whole situation the way it's unfolding don't let trust issues come in the way you need to get out of your comfort zone and whatever you manifesting you have to manifest and do it it you know it goes parallel <laughs> when you manifesting and the universe is sending you something some someone towards your your way you need to believe that that is what you have manifested right because the universe works in its own ways they don't the universe won't um uh, work out like the way you want it to the universe works in unexpected ways so you have to believe that whatever it's it's doing it's it's doing for your own good this is what you had manifested so just keep manifesting heal your heart right just take some time out and just relax don't have to do anything just just relax and because i see here you you're being too guarded libra the need for you is to just chill and relax and trust this this connection because it's a beautiful um two of cups is a beautiful romantic connection right so let's check out some romance messages what are the romance messages for libra for the month of april please show me some love messages for libra for the month of april It is safe for you to love. See, Libra, it's safe for you to love. You can open up your heart, open your heart to give and receive the highest energy of all. I've seen that you, you, you've just blocked yourself out from this, this energy, this beautiful person that wants to give something to you. They are, they are working on themselves, Libra, for whatever they might have, you know, done in the past. But now they are leveling up and they're working on themselves. And it's safe for you to open up your heart. right because you guarded here very much guarded and then we have attraction you attract romantic love by enjoying this moment fully right so the point here for you is to libra is to just let this attraction unfold naturally all right just stay in the present moment and open keep keep your heart open right to receive and to give the energy of love All right. So, um regarding your career, I feel that uh, whatever project you had been working on or uh, maybe for a lot of you guys you were waiting for some sort of a promotion or a hike or windfall or you know some sort of a completion of a project at your workplace or maybe um a job change or whatever regarding your career, job or finances. I I see here that in the month of April you will be rewarded. you'll be reaping your rewards and a lot of uh, victory and success is coming towards you right you'll be acknowledged for your efforts whatever you were waiting for is coming through in the month of april for a lot of you guys right i see here um for a lot of you if you were searching for a job online or if you had given some interviews for some new job or some sort of that thing some interview or you know all that is um i think there there's going to be a new start coming in the month of april for you guys regarding career right but the point for you here is to break yourself free from old mental patterns like getting stuck and st staying in the same place just for the heck of it like you know you don't want to step out of your comfort zone maybe your earlier workplace or your you know career or your job was something that you you got comfortable doing right you, you, now you don't want to step out of that comfort zone so that is your um uh, negative pattern right so you kind of you you have to break free from that and try to see things from a new perspective because i see a fresh new beginning is coming towards you but you need to grab the opportunity in in your career or job right 
so the point is to just release your old job or whatever you know because it was kind of exerting and overwhelming for you it was causing you exhaustion so you need to let go of your old uh, career and job i see for a lot of you you if you you're stuck uh, in in your old job you know the fact that there's so much of toxicity around and you know you're not even liking it's it's not even to your liking this job you're stuck in that's why you're searching for other options other jobs other career opportunities but then you're still stuck in that same place please don't just move on because um, i see that you you've got great uh, career opportunities for you Finan finances look good it in fact great because we have a lot of pentacles here right so you could be disappointed a little bit disappointments i see here for a lot of you if you were uh, looking for a job and it's not coming through uh, it, it's going to take some time that's what i see here but then your finances look good libra you're in good shape you i mean career also is good and your focus is on your finances in the month of april you're taking good care of yourself you're focusing on your finances how to improve your financial growth right and completely focused working hard totally slogging along in the month of april that's what i see here for a lot of you you could be getting some sort of a windfall or some promotion right some some sort of perks coming your way in the month of april right again um there could be you know some sort of a tower moment caused at your workplace right like it's it's like if you're in a partnership with someone maybe there could be some 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 chaos uh between the two of you right it could probably you could just just want to break away from this partnership but the thing for you is to just you know kind of take some time out and relax because i i see that you will be doing a lot of hard work in the month of april regarding your career job totally focused and kind of you know over extending yourself so the point is to just take some time out and relax probably if you can then just go to some place and just go for a vacation take some time off and you know completely um just rejuvenate yourself right and keep manifesting if you're if you're looking for a job or if you're hoping for a, for some kind of a deal or something to come through then just the, the point is to keep manifesting and um i see that you could be a little bit guarded at your workplace with your colleagues maybe you have set some boundaries maybe there are some trust issues so the point is not to be so much in, in your head right try to be uh, jovial with everyone and if it's a toxic situation then you need to come out of that right a lot of courage is is needed i see here a lot of indecision also but then uh, it's okay i mean nothing to be worried of libra so that was your reading for the month of april hope you enjoyed thank you for watching